Happy holidays! Missed you all. We've been gone for quite some time yeah. and we've been gone. Hey, because Bora, what have you been up to? Yay! Yay! And myself, I finally have a new job, and so like that's exciting. But it's been a long time. Shouldn't have left you without a dope recipe to cook to, cook to, cook to, cook to, cook to, cook to. It's been a long time. Shouldn't have left you without a dope recipe to cook to, cook to, cook to, cook to, cook to, cook to. Okay, let's cook. Welcome back again to another episode of Soul Food Kitchen. Thank you guys all again for waiting so patient. And for waiting this long, we're gonna bring you a treat. We're making Jop J. Boy, tell us what Jop J is. Hello, Merry Christmas. So Jop J is probably one of the most beloved Korean dishes in United States. Almost all Korean restaurants here in California has this favorite Korean noodle on their menus. When my American friends ask me what Jop J is, uh, I would usually say just like it's kind of like Korean pad thai, but there's a lot more to this. Japchae is a Korea's traditional party food for like a New Year's, uh, weddings, and housewarmings or Korean Thanksgiving. I guarantee you that you will not miss this cuisine on Korean table. Today's episode is Japchae. We're a uh, variety of ingredients for this one. This is really cool because you can make it vegan, vegetarian, or you can do it with meat, either beef, pork, whatever you want or whatever. But it's a perfect party food and a perfect holiday food since holiday is right around the corner. And the only subtle nuance that we use, we use black fungus. Black fungus. All right, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna marinate the beef. So we're gonna take like, Two tablespoons of brown sugar, two cloves of garlic. We're gonna use about three tablespoons of soy sauce. Once it's mixed together, we're gonna set it out to the side. We're gonna start on the next ingredients. For this episode, we're gonna need our bigger boat. So I love this baby when it returns. So first thing we're gonna do, we're going to take our Spinach, pre-rinse spinach, throw it inside, and we're just gonna cook it. 10 seconds later. All right, so we got our spinach back inside. We're gonna take all our spinach. We're gonna take it. We're gonna dump it inside. Boom, spinach. Once you're done spinach, we're gonna hit it with a little soy. Then we're gonna hit it a little bit sesame seed oil. Boom. Take it and mix it all around. Cool. Now that we're done with the uh, the spinach, we're going to go ahead and throw the vermicelli noodles in there. And if you see, I still have like floating around spinach. That's okay though. Just use the same water. Throw it in there. These bad boys are done. You want to make sure you have, still like have a bite to it. Take it, put in your thing. Boom. And we're gonna dump it in with the rest of our ingredients. Just let me think. The bigger boat works, or the bowl. Then we're gonna hit it with some sesame seed oil. It's about four tablespoons. Hit it with some soy sauce. Three tablespoons. Then we are gonna hit it with some brown sugar, babe. I'm gonna do like two teaspoons in there, tablespoons in there, and mix it all together. The chikke, 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 chikke. Chikke is the Korean translation for tongs. This is a pretty cool feature. I can say things like sprinkle, sprinkle. Bitch mittens and Wu Tang forever. Now back to our super awesome host, Boro and Trey. All right, we got our vermicelli noodles. We also have our spinach. Now we're gonna start sauteing the other ingredients and mix them together.
what a cool montage right? I wanted to save time by doing an epic montage but I need to mention that you only need to season the vegetables with salt and pepper here. No soy, sesame oil, or brown sugar babe. Only salt, 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 and pepper here. Now back to Trey and Bora. Last one, last one. We got our marinated beef. We're gonna saute this thing up. Five minutes later. All right, now we're gonna pick up Thor's pan again. Ugh, this is heavy as Thor's hammer. Throw that bad boy on. Woo! Pick it, pick it, pick it, pick it, pick it, pick it, pick it. Ah. Boom! Let's do it like uh, I want sexy music when I'm doing this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But wait, there's more. Five cloves of garlic. Boom. Two more tablespoons of sugar. Boom. Brown sugar, babe. I get high off your love, don't know how to behave. Sesame seed oil. Bloop, 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 bloop. A little soy, don't need a lot. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Now this is all optional. This is your preference and taste. I can't stress that enough. If you don't want more, don't add more. Me personally, I like mine with some flavor. Cause I'm kicking brand new flavor in your ear. Or in your mouth. I added about a cup of soy sauce in here to get it a bit more color towards it and get it a little bit more of a saltier taste. But Bora, come try this and let me know what you think. By the way, this is the second take. Because she's a freaking critic. Hope you guys liked it. Subscribe, hit like. It's very hard living with someone who just eats all the food and doesn't make the food. But I love you all out in Soul Food Kitchen. Remember, Soul Meets Soul. Love you. Love, peace, and...